Today, we arrange this welcoming reception as a place for thank you very much. Prominent leaders and scholars who have come long distances to attend the Global Regional Forum. Distinguished guests, I warmly welcome you all to Korea. The theme of the fifth Global Regional Forum is often and ready for tomorrow. One of the speakers, he insists on, we have to discuss not only human resources, all of you have Beautiful time at the forum, and your stay in Korea turns out to be especially enjoyable and rewarding. Good memories of Korea. Thank you very much. Through human talents and collective efforts, the first Global HR Forum held in November 2006 and the theme was Global Talent and Global Prosperity. Global Inje Forum 2010에 참석해 주신 국내외 기인 여러분 정말 반갑습니다. 결국 미래에 대한 준비는 창의적인 인재 입성에 달려 있다고 할수 있습니다. 변혁의 시대를 헤쳐나갈 인재들이 우리의 미래를 열어줄 것으로 확신합니다. 여러분의 해양과 통찰력으로 획기적인 방안을 제시해 주실 것으로 믿습니다. 글로벌 인재 포럼의 무궁한 발전과 여러분 모두의 건강과 행복을 기원합니다. 감사합니다. This country and others around the world, and most prominently the United Kingdom, are functionally well. The profits basically are rising uh, not because there's been a great increase in volume. Uh, the figures that came out today show that home prices are somewhat lower, but mainly as a consequence, if not all as a consequence. You know, despite just having become the second largest economy in the world, China is uh, still a very poor country with per capita income that is uh, not even 10% that of the United States. The global governance system, if you like, 
Well, like last year we saw the official replacement of uh, G. And the very uh, important changes that are currently going on, which have created great difficulties in East Asia. It's a cr criminal dimension of, uh, of entertainment. Uh, well, see, I wouldn't say that the road is safe, but it's much better. And that's a very interesting example, that when something is really at stake... And then when different nations do it and they don't have a gold standard... You, see, the, the 20th century was a transition from a world of the gold standard up until about 1914. The transition period was using the dollar, uh, which was convertible into gold, at least theoretically for foreign central banks. That was just simple. Uh, welcome to the plenary session two. Uh, I am Chuyang Kim, the president of Hyundai Research Institution. It is my great honor to serve as a moderator at this section of excellent speakers and discussion. The topic of our session is important, the sense of global citizenship and social responsibility. To talk about sustainability as we talk about it, to talk about global citizenship, many people do not have jobs. We certainly in the United States have gotten accustomed to talking about the economy in terms of the rate of growth of GDP, not by employment, which has been cut by more than 300,000 jobs just in 2008, as the number of big three auto assembly plants fell from 66 to 40. So this is uh, from uh, UNESCO, uh, Dr. Chan Tang. Uh, he paid uh, talk about uh, what well, in terms of in, in view of uh, focusing about the role of so today I would like to present to you some idea on how exactly through education we can promote dialogue between cultures respect for others and a sense of a shared goals and if you are uh, familiar with what the map of the world looks like this does not look like it. And the reason for that is that this uh, map of the world is, uh, reflects where the biggest populations would be. And you can see immediately uh, the, what we see as rapid changes of the emerging economic stars. It's really changing the way the uh, distribution of the world product is going to be in um, the next decade. Mr. Jack Dobor's presentation if we have time after three presentation, you may ask questions to the speakers. Thank you. I'm going to talk a little bit about manufacturing, and manufacturing in the United States is uh, enjoying a resurgence. And at this point, it increased roughly tenfold. It was the first significant increase in global GDP per capita that we have seen today. It stands at about $14,000, which is pretty remarkable, given some of the disparities that we see across different economies. In Europe, um, I have structured my presentation by three phases. And the first one deals with the uh, demographic development. Uh, it shows the importance of uh, demographic development for the future economic situation, the social development. Not uh, by, by not being able to manage the EU, the European Monetary Union, successfully. Uh, so now let's come to the uh, solutions. Um, uh, the EU has to aim at making the EU and the Euro sustainable. And genius. Uh, attributing the most uh, uh, the problems uh, to uh, the uh, EU's uh, bad governance, uh, he argued, uh, strongly argued for uh, the uh, much stricter, stricter uh, rules or disciplines. Uh, thank you very much again, uh, uh, Professor Kesters. Now, uh, many other people later on, as it emerged, it seemed to be difficult to have problems in the streets of Greece, reactions against the crisis. And, uh, Treasury Secretary's uh, uh, attempt to, uh, you know, not only 
So manage domestic economy, but the uh, international aspect of it. I, I, I saw it uh, very recently, so it might be uh, interesting to, to take a look. But they didn't accumulate that portfolio for, for uh, investment returns. They, they accumulated that portfolio for employment gains uh, and therefore stability. Uh, and so, yes, they're worried about it, but um, uh, again, uh, we, we go back and forth. Sometimes we think about China as a Chinese government as, as investors uh, and forget that they have a much broader objective function that, that includes employment gains and, and things like that. Uh, all right, so we'll conclude uh, the session. Thank you. And they therefore more or less uh, doubled the supply of milk uh, in the local market, the milk price collapsed and they all yeah, got into financial trouble. And the result was the collapse in the local milk market and uh, the, this microfinance uh, scheme more or less uh, led to uh, the, the, the disaster. Yeah. It's on several days or even more than 10 days to uh, finalize our preparation. Maybe uh, they can raise this kind of issues during the discussion of the summit meeting. And very lastly, uh, on developing uh, development issues, I think Korea want to collect all the you know, new ideas. Okay, with this, uh, I want to close this special session of G20. Thank you very much. Fellow the uh, hierarchy of needs, and uh, to a certain extent, I think we are probably on a very natural progression or trajectory with respect to uh, how we organize our industries, our businesses, and the interaction between those companies and uh, society as a whole. 상생이 사실상 말 그대로 상생 나에게 있어서 그러니까 그런 것이 비용이 아닌 투자의 개념이다. 그래서 내게도 역시나 어, 전략적으로 어, 그 어, 전략적으로 도움을 줄수 있게끔 될수 있다라는 그런 마인드로서의 쉬프트가 필요하다라고 생각을 합니다. Um, so I'll skip that and come to conclusion. The conclusion is not a happy one, but I think that unless we face what we think is the way the world is changing and moving and we won't be able to confront these particular issues and deal with them in an appropriate way. So these two countries have major challenges in terms of rebalancing their economies. Um, there was a talk given last night uh, by Jack McDougall, which was very optimistic for the United States. I can't say I'm that optimistic about Britain. Uh, Germany is in a much stronger position, but there are concerns about uh, issues of equity there, as I've just indicated. Globalization, actually, look at Korea. Natural resources, quite limited, but uh, the potential of human resources. Educational uh, strength will remain an, uh, an important notion for global reach and political. And I think the clear question that we all share, and I think we share the same answer, is a uh, question is, do all countries need to follow a, the same frame? of it learning in order to achieve goals. In the Newtonian physical world of the industrial age, both Einstein's relativistic and quantum physical world of the 21st centuries. And so there are, there's, there are being developed uh, many cognitive thinking applications, data analysis tools that are available in these mobile learning devices through applications. So uh, Asian reason is is a sending reason, not the receiving reason. But but then uh, now uh, 
is, is becoming a little bit, uh, we are facing a little bit change that uh, many students from Europe are very interested in Asia. Uh, UNESCO, uh, they recently announced in 2009 and uh, reforming higher education uh, in the 21st century. Uh, UNESCO's in the communities is higher education itself is confronted with uh, formidable challenges and must proceed to the most radical changes and renewal it has ever been required to undertake. Uh, doctorates earned by women, the U.S., this is the last time it was reported, uh, they, 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 can, they, they do these reports at the National Science Foundation every 10 years. You see some increments in growth in terms of uh, women in selected fields, mathematics, computer science, but uh, these are over a decade. Why do some uh, foreigners who come to the U.S., earn their doctorates, stay in the U.S. after they earn their doctorates and, uh, and work, sometimes getting, uh, working on temporary work visas and sometimes you know, you know, acquiring, getting green cards? Uh, some of the research shows that, that, that uh, foreign PhD graduates return home to their home countries because of career opportunities, professional advancement opportunities, quality of life concerns, and family ties. The first year we were developing instruments and pilots. In the second year we were uh, conducting the field trial. In the third year it was the main survey. And finally it was the analysis. Uh, knowledge of social, political and civic institution, skills and competencies in conflict resolution, knowledge of rights and responsibilities, development of critical and independent thinking in relation to civics, and unfortunately from our perspective the development of active participation was not seen as the most important of the goals, but we are looking at that as one of our outcomes. can't promise you anything, go back to work, do your job, contribute to the success of the company, and together we'll see if we can get through this. If you are going to have people around for a substantial period of time, you want to recruit them selectively for cultural fit. Do they fit the organization's culture? Do they fit the organization's values? Market, market attractiveness, Thailand is much better. The mental device market size, over 400 million US dollars, whereas Indonesia, less than one third of the size. We put the very healthy, competent working environment where we can fill our organization with only talent people. I don't think I really have to explain this one for the um, Korean audience. You know, you, you're aware of, of the aging population and it's something that not only Korea is dealing with, but basically most developed nations uh, Latin America, which is you know, really creating just an unprecedented level of diversity in every country around the world. We're seeing higher birth rates in developing nations. So while like, developed nations like Korea, Japan, Western Europe are seeing lower rates of, of birth, we're seeing population booms in places like India. <laughs> Mr. 그 영향력을 훨씬 더 높일 수 있고 또 하나는 이제 코스트에 대한 부분들이나 그리고 이제 일을 하는 데 있어서 실제 환경들 속에서 그 학습할 수 있는 공간들을 만들어 줄수 있기 때문에 이런 포멀 러닝과 인포멀 러닝을 전체를 통합하는 러닝 체인을 구축하는 것들이 앞으로 굉장히 중요할 것이다라는 말씀. 그 오늘 러닝 러닝에 대해서 굉장히 많이 들으셨을 텐데요. 러닝이란 거는 직접 해보지 않으면 진짜로 체험하기 어렵다는 말들이 굉장히 많이 있습니다. 그 업무를 잘할 수 있는 사람으로 키워나가기 위해서는 아, 비정형에 대한 교육 기회를 어떻게 하면 더 많이 활성화시켜 줄 것인가 Of course, I'm saying yeah. Right now, 45% enroll in vocational technical education secondary But now, I've been knowing that they are kind of skilled workers, they're very needed at level 
So two years ago, they initiated again to, to open again the secondary vocational education in Malaysia. 가마공실에는 전문직 포지션의 양성이 중요한데 우리나라는 안타깝게도 학부모의 인식도 취업보다는 진학을 선호합니다. So I was stuck thinking and that's what I'm doing in this workplace. If this is quite unique in Korea, because we are in a kind of very tougher situation than before, and the challenges are taller than before. Just kind of stay to go up. Way of work, but the cost will be higher in coming future than in the past. As can be said in table, the elderly support rate of Korea, or uh, representative index indicating the aging of the population structures, the support ratio of the aging society like France, France is 21.9, the UK 26.5, was four, four, four times higher than that uh, Korea. And because of the shrinking uh, population, many of the companies want to go outside of Japan. There is a trend, more and more uh, learning services are outsourced to outside learning service providers in Japan. Uh, we should look at the minimum wages in the Western countries, but there are very few studies uh, dealing with Asian countries like Korea and Japan. Uh, First world, uh, we may consider that and, and it's not a problem in the developed countries, but it is a very uh, a serious problem in the developed countries. Uh, I think uh, Dr. Arturinas uh, explaining is the general point of view founded from the data all over the world. So, uh, I'd like to share Korea's specific and problems. Life is expressed through the creativity of music, through art, through forms of theatre, because it is enabling young people to open up a very important part of their character. Two answers to your question. The first is that as a consequence of Eden College now being much more globally aware, I think most students, uh, most schools around the world are much more conscious of the world to connect with that the students themselves are much more inclined to wish to find out more about other cultures and other societies. And uh, ask some of those ensembles to come and talk about their music. It really enlivens the whole environment, gets people interested. Maybe they'll buy some tickets too. If that's the focus that your child has, has and it's white hot within him or her, Juilliard is a great place to be. And we would love to have your child assuming they, they get into the school through the audition. I am very proud of the children Chinese perspective, this was a just war. Okay. Maybe from a South Korean perspective, uh, their war is, is a just war. Because not only to defend North Korea, but also to defend China from uh, US uh, uh, imperialist aggression, uh, to use the Chinese uh, official language. Right? Most Chinese do believe that. So we worked with our unions, we were very clear <coughs> They worked with us, it took a lot of conversation. So the real success was showing that it was good for the business, it was good for people, and we now know it's good for society. And that was the way to get there. Now obviously the infrastructure should be implemented and technology such as a telecommunication or a computer technology it should be must have. But at the same time, I think maybe my background is HR, but this is really sort of like the uh, HR infrastructure should be aligned. The challenges and one of the, the opportunities is to show leaders the business consequence of not doing this. But uh, the education they have received in a distinct ideological form and 
makes it difficult for them to adjust to the Korean society. In the broad sense, you know, Korea has a following set of laws for the foreigners, and this one is for the children of their education. Although there may be local sites, like in the Yellow Sea or in the East Sea, where collecting algae may make sense, but in general it won't work. Now there's an unexpected treasure on Treasure Island. It's called a wastewater treatment plant. It's a sewage plant. And we're going to use that sewage plant as our source of nutrients and fresh water to grow algae. So that's why I'm actually being called the Collaborative Institute for Oceans Climate and Security. And that is the place where I work as a science coordinator. But please be no mistaken, I'm not coordinating scientists. It's impossible. The complexity of the problem and multidimensional nature of this issue is being um, even exaggerated by three gaps in this field. It's a fragmentation among scientists that are dealing with climate change, ocean security. It's a disconnect between science and policy. The, the, the intelligent car that you see on the left-hand side, uh, the autonomous unmanned uh, vehicles uh, in the middle that we're already using in places like Afghanistan. Mike already referred to ASIMO, the, the uh, Hyundai, or is it Honda robot, which unfortunately has gone out of production, but that's an example of, of a uh, fifth-level uh, intelligence where you're anticipating or thinking and reasoning about what to do next. They said, no, I have to come. I said, no, you don't have to. It's your choice to come every day. Okay, now. You don't have to judge yourself. You just ask, okay, this hasn't worked for me. Great, good job. You've done that really well. You've done that not working really well. Um, what do you, and ask yourself, what really inspires, excites, and turns me on? I love that, you know. What is it that pushes your buttons? Really, please understand, this is not supposed to be hard work. It's, yeah. it's supposed to be exactly the opposite. This is supposed to make it easier, uh, more fun. Yeah, please do not take away that you have to sit down and like do 10 minutes of questions in the morning <laughs> and 10 minutes of questions at night. Like that's completely the opposite. And make sure that we influence vocational, vocational education training for the future. I also wish to thank a group of teachers, and I'm sure most of them are here, who came to the United Kingdom in August for a pilot program that we developed as a result of the project the Prime Minister um, of England had um, funded, as Dr. Kwan had said. And they can then go on and get a BTEC national qualification or an advanced diploma, which is level three. So we've got a vocational More route, the BTECs, and an occupational route, which is the NVQs. The difference is that whereas the BTEC qualifications, the vocational route, qualifies you in a general area, the NVQ will qualify you for a particular job. And so forth. But the, in the World Bank, the, the strategies are, are, have a duration of 10 years, so we're basically looking at what the world will look like in 2020. Just looking at these two pyramids, the, the top pyramid pertains to low-income countries. So you have male and female distributions of the population by age group. You get them from very young. The love of problems and problem solving this comes from a different kind of education that many of our schools give. Exactly the same presentation, but in fact, I, I tried there are somewhat more details in the booklet, etc. One is once again through skills. And, and, by, and by fundamentally generating higher order skills, which can really push your agenda. To, 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 to uh, develop interdisciplinarity. That's a, it's a huge challenge. And if we, universities are unable to, uh, to do that, and that's my really deep conviction as uh, an institution being partly or strongly financed by the, the, the public sector. I mean, like uh, economics or management or sociology and, and so on. Uh, the, the most problems society is, is that they have, which classifies as an innovative process. So you, you, can, you can use that. And as you all know, uh, economists typically don't give a damn about norms. I mean, they, they don't uh, uh, think that the, the uh, uh, 
uh, behavior, human behavior in the neoclassical model is driven by utility maximization. Well, this uh, expert meeting, which is co-organized with, uh, with CRIVET, with, uh, a TVET is, is a two-way uh, relationship. Uh, on the one hand, we uh, believe that uh, uh, green growth policies and strategies will have uh, an impact on, on the labor market. And I'm really delighted to uh, see this opportunity to extend the, the outreach of the ILO's initial research on skills and green jobs. And I'm going to present you some ideas about um, our framework on greening Tibet and uh, a number of statements um, from the political leaders, for example in China, they mentioned this circular economy approach as a way forward for our economies to move. Holistic notions and regulations and uh, the capacity building uh, in terms of uh, the, uh, the, the contents, the reform of contents and uh, uh, pedagogies to the Tibet teacher is also a very um, urgent uh, uh, issues to us. The ICT issue, the computer, the digital, 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 about technology, science, and e-learning, and all these things. Uh, we are, as you know, Timor Leste is a young and emerging nation starting our development from scratch, both in terms of infrastructure and human resources, with only less than 10 years. Between Cambodia and Korea in the field of ICT, the MOU 2005, between Ministry of Youth and Sport, Cambodia and Busan. Let's welcome with me Today, and the audience participants were very uh, sincere and engaging, and they raised very important comments and questions. So, I can see that that's an indication of the, <coughs> the success of this conference. In order to fit in with the, the, the very real financial constraints that are going to be there in the public sector. And it's been interesting to compare um, that sort of experience between, and, and, and it came through, I think, in, in the sessions that I was part of today, where we have talked about the, um, the edu education systems. The world has changed and will keep changing. We have to live with increasing globalization and competitive pressures. And we cannot ignore economic constraints or simply wish them away. That education has many benefits to society, not just employment and livelihood. From the ILO's perspective, this is our aspect of looking at HRD. It's looking at what uh, is demanded in the labour market, how do we enable people to have good livelihoods and decent work. I think that is a very important message of this forum, and the fact that it has now uh, gone on for its fifth year. This is exactly the way to change the way people think about this issue and the way people think about the, the role that, global, that, that human resources can play in the world's future. We need a better quality management system, education, education training on the basis, this is my special focus, on national standards. Talking about the global cooperation, creativity, competition. Well, I think you know we need to uh, maintain the networks and keep communicating. I would like uh, I would like to conclude uh, my remarks to suggest you to keep to keep in mind that we are living in one big
Thank you.